Hello aviation lovers and welcome back to the Fleet Speed Channel. On this beautiful Sunday morning we made an ILS approach to runway 06 at Rotterdam. New on the channel, I'm explaining what we're doing in the cockpit. Enjoy this one! Eh, uh, wat doen ze hier? ILS of de RMP? Eh, uh, ik uh, ga uit van ILS. Wordt niet genoemd in uh, ATIS. I'm still searching for that sweet spot of how to edit my videos. First I had to figure out the audio and now how to present it. I was looking into captions but that doesn't work because there are two languages spoken in the cockpit. So I'm trying the voiceover. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this. Today we are the Transavia 81 Victor, a flight from Barcelona to Rotterdam. I'm preparing the cockpit for the approach by setting the courses, frequencies and programming the flight management computer. I'm also checking the weather and I've made a calculation for the landing distance. When I'm done, I can tell my colleague in a briefing of my intentions and the threats we expect. This is Tazafia 81 Victor, passing 2737 <laughs> Arrival Speed 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 Dofmoor is initial approach fix en dan gaan we naar de RD201 Helho 250 en de inbound koers is dan 056, die hebben we allebei gezet. 3 graden glijpad naar de minima van 200 voet, die hebben we ook allebei gezet. Als we dan de baan niet zien, kunnen we dit rondje vliegen. Uh, dat is recht door tot de RD212. Met maximaal 210 knopen naar de 213 Kako door van Climb 2000. De baan is niet zo lang, spot dan. Uh, daarom autobreaks 3 en klappen 40. Klappen 40, autobreaks 3. En all charts, ground charts, dan gaan wij daarna 06 terug taxiën. En als we zijn geland op de 06 moeten we via november, dus de outer, binnen taxiën. Stel dat we niet in Rotterdam kunnen landen, gaan we naar Amsterdam. 06 binnen taxi, ja. 06, dus dan pakken we helemaal... Uh, ja, 06 naar binnen is uh, via november. Uh, we gaan landen met 2.8. We hebben uh, ja, als het goed is, uh, nog geen 2 ton nodig voor Amsterdam. Dus nou, we kunnen nog een rondje, maar we moeten wel een goede reden hebben om naar Rotterdam te gaan. Want uh, als er iets technisch is, dan is Amsterdam natuurlijk wel handig. Um, threats, nou ja, de korte baan hebben we rekening mee gehouden. Verder, uh, ja, ja. Kan de, het waait lekker en je hebt dus uh, crosswind van rechts en tailwind waarschijnlijk. Uh, het weer stond hierop, sorry. Oh, sorry, ik zit hier. Er ja. ja. staat niet heel veel netters op op deze. <laughs> Aan de achterkant heb ik het geschreven, dat is de beta. Oh, uh, wacht even. Ja. En uh, weer is 120 met 9, variabel 0, 60, 150, 60. Ja, hij kan wel eens een beetje gaan. Ja, inderdaad. Dus het waait lekker. Maar ja, nou ja, een beetje stoeien. Komt goed. Nou, en als het niet goed komt, dan maken we een go-around en dan kunnen we het eventueel nog een keer proberen of we gaan Amsterdam. Vragen, toevoegingen, opmerkingen? Nee, helemaal niet. 
Van meteen een descent checklist als je het At Rotterdam, there is no digital yeah. weather information, so the first officer listened to the ATIS broadcast. Komt goed. Nou, dan the weather for today, the wind is from a uh, direction of 120 with about 9 knots. It's variable between 060 and 150. Very good visibility, there are no lower clouds. The temperature is 10 degrees, a dew point of 7, and the QNH is 1008. When the briefing is completed, we read the descent checklist. Descent checklist, yes, please. Pressure is agent landing us at the null or recall. Checked, checked, how to break the three landing data. Oké, okay, klapper 40, 137 en de bar op 200. Approach briefing completed, descent checklist completed. In the descent checklist we are checking the recall. It's a system that lets us know by lights if there are any malfunctions. All important systems have a backup system available. When both should fail, the recall system automatically pops up. But when only one system should fail, we can see it by pressing the recall system. No failures today. Met autobreaks 3, uh, 12 minuten koelen, uh, 2070 meter. Ja, dan kom ik eigenlijk niet te kort, dus ik pak hem... Uh, in ieder geval, full reverse, maar we moeten naar autobreaks, Max. Check. Altbot. En dan uh, zal ik je waarschijnlijk heel snel vragen om ze terug te halen. Maar dan zijn we in ieder geval uh, gecoverd met de baanlengte. Check. Ja, en dat is ook 38 minuten dan direct, met full reverse. Ja, we hebben een omdraai van een uh, uur geloof ik. Uh, 45 minuten staat er hier, maar ja. With the new wind information, maybe some tailwind, I recalculated the landing performance. We now have to use max auto break. Because we are now braking hard, we have to cool the brakes for at least 38 minutes after the landing. Retard and speed speeds. Yeah, with your full. Yeah, yeah. 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 Je had nog geen route verteld, hè, die weggelopen. Sinds ik de pilot flying on this stretch, de first officer is talking to air traffic control. He is also addressing the passengers. When he's doing the speech, I'm taking over the radio. Contact They can fix the one three five one. 135 voor KLM 1190. 9980, ik heb hem al naar Avia 816, de Dark. Ik heb hem al naar Ladies and gentlemen, full flight in your first level. Right turn, quickly in northerly direction. 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 Right we will follow the Dutch coast of the Rotterdam to land in the north easterly direction. During the week, we've been flying for one and a half hour. The highest altitude we had today is 36,000 feet or a little over 10 kilometers with an airspeed of 400 kilometers an hour. Expected arrival time is now in 15 minutes, uh, 10 past 11 local time in the Netherlands.
the weather, 10 degrees. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And on behalf of Transavia, we thank you for flying with us today. In the cockpit, we're going to prepare for the landing. We wish you a pleasant stay in Rotterdam or a great onward journey. We were on level 100. We can the 06 verwachten. And I have engine and TI7 set. Check. After the speech, I briefed the first officer of the changes he could have missed. A new descent clearance and that, we've, that I've switched on the engine and the ice. Necessary because we were flying through some visible moisture, clouds that is. And the outside air temperature was below 10 degrees centigrade. With that system we are warming up the front of the engine inlet to prevent ice accumulation. We're out of the clouds so we switch the engine and the ice system off again. We have some time now to enjoy the views. Blijft toch altijd mooi aanvliegen hoor, Nederland. Zeker. FMC Speed, Vino of Klaasje. Tatavia, Edwin Victor, keep your speed to 90 or more, please. To 90 or more, Tatavia, Edwin Victor. Het is iets in de Nou, lekker. Het is snel. FMC Speed, Mooi zo dat je de zonnepanel nog ziet. Ja. 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 Ja, rechts is het eigenlijk helemaal mooi. Moet je helpen? Ja, is. Ik heb een rijdt River en Sierra Papalina. River Sierra Papalina, dat is wel. Ik heb een van Victor Call, Rotterdam, on frequency 122, decimal 9 en 9 0. Bye. 122, 9 en 9 0. Dat is even een van Victor, dank u wel. Out of 10,000 feet, we switched on the landing lights and the fast and seatbelt signs. Dat is voor ons, 5-0, papa, papa, Victor, goedemorgen, passing at 9 or 3, descending 6-0. Hey, Victor, goedemorgen, proceed down into hell over the island, bro. Zullen we met information, papa? Ja, zullen Victor. We are now cleared by the Rotterdam approach to the point Hellho, which is in the neighborhood of Hellevoetsluis. They also confirm now that we can indeed expect the ILS for runway 06. On the left we had a nice view on the Zeeland Bridge. A bridge over the Oosterschelde with a length of approximately 5 kilometers. Safia 81, Victor descent to 2000 feet, in 1008, cleared ILS, broadcast. 2000 feet, 1008, cleared ILS, 06, Safia 81, Victor. 1008 and the approach checklist. Approach checklist, altimeters. Uh, altimeters, uh, 1008, 1080. Cleared for the final turn and the approach. We're also cleared now to an altitude instead of a flight level, and therefore we set our altimeters to the local QH setting, which is the barometric pressure. So we're Sunday 4 4 flying again, eh? Go around the side, kijk if niemand over het veld zit. Uh, the ILS process is identified. Switch your coke over. Yes. Yeah. And 
flaps one. We are now reducing the airspeed. For that we need flaps. Flaps are a departure on the aft edge of a wing that can extend to increase the wing area and create more lift so we can fly slower. Speed, speed, sir. speed. Uh, yeah, run inside, contact. Uh, even zoek hoor. Ja, hij ligt zo dwars. Maar ja, ik zie hem. As Amsterdam-based pilots, it's not always easy to find the airport of Rotterdam. But we found it. Four localized labyrinths. Uh, I'm approach. Uh, this is a kinetic and 911 uh, ambulance uh, coming up at 6000. Kinetic 911, good afternoon. Christian, good morning. Turn left heading 310, descend to altitude 2000 feet on the Okay, uh, left heading at 310, uh, down to 2000 feet, uh, QNH 1008 for kinetic 911. Kinetic 911, that's all correct. You can expect factors for the RS-206. Information is Papa. We got Papa and uh, which for the uh, debunk for uh, Kinetic 911. We've now captured both the glide path and localizer signals from the ILS. When everything is programmed correctly, the autopilot does this automatically. Now I stick a boy zoo. Now we don't put the zin. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Van Victor, Roger, contact the tower, 118, it's not 205, I don't know. 118, 205, it's not 205, I don't know. Here. 2500. Flaps 15. The gear is now coming down and we are selecting more flaps. The cabin is okay and we switch to the tower controller of Rotterdam. Well, we have eight one Victor. Good morning. Rumble zero six. Clear land. Winds one one zero degrees with one one knot. Clear to land zero six. We have eight one Victor. Ah, let's see. Wind is still behoorlijk. Wind gaat lekker draaien, maar is wel van voren. We are now clear to land and receive the latest wind information. No more tailwind expected. Because of the short runway, we needed the max flap setting of forty. That is why we first used the intermittent setting of 25. Flaps 25. We had said 137, I hou me op 142, want it is snel. Check. Flaps 40. And the... Landing checklists. Landing. And you start treating. Continuous. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Flaps. 40 meters. Landing checklist completed. Clear to land. Yes. yes. Uh, manual. I'm switching off the autopilot by pressing a button on the left side wow. of my yoke. Stabilized. The wind is changing a bit, as you can see. Wind begins to draai and flink. At a thousand feet, we want to be stabilized for the landing. All settings and speed should be correct now. And uh, Rotterdam Tower, this is a kinetic and 911 ambulance uh, on the uh, ILS level six. Kinetic 911, good morning, sir. Number two. 500. Number two, Kinetic 911. Check. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Check.
one hundred. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Speed break up. Delta Zulu Mike uh, request package. Delta Zulu Mike Zulu, Texture Rangers, Signal Section Victor 2. Delta Zulu Mike Zulu, Texture Rangers, Signal Section Victor 2. And now it's Rake's off. Camera up here. 15 knots. After the landing, the first officer switched off the auto brakes because there was more than enough runway length available. The reason for the max auto brake setting was what came out of the calculation because they are made with a lot of margins. After the landing we reset and switch off some systems like landing lights, the speed brake and flaps. Delta 1, Delta 1, Yeah, the all or best. Can I take 9-1-1, runway 0 land, wind 1 degrees, 1-1 up. Okay, clear for land runway 0 kinetic 9-1-1. We're clear to taxi the parking position Delta 1. It's a long way to taxi back, so let's speed it up a little bit. After the landing, we've started the timer. We have to cool the engines for at least three minutes. When we then have some taxi miles left, we should switch off one engine to save some fuel. We will switch off the right hand engine. This generates some lights on the recall system. Precies wat ik zei. We zitten nu op drie minuten. Ja, precies. Kinetic 9011, taxi jet aviation. Taxi 2, jet aviation. Ja, dat mag motor nummer 2 juist. Eens kijken, ja. Ik wacht even tot hij helemaal uit het plot is. Nummer 2. Check. Dan komt eerst de source of. Vervolgens de drive en dan naar de relax. Maar aan de rechterkant zien. Ja. Delta voor de hangar langs rechts. Zo, hallo. Ja, drive. Had er wel of niet een Marshall er verstopt? Ah, wel. Taxi ligt maar. Taxi leidt door. Hij is hydraulic. With the martial law inside, this video comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed it and love to see you back next week for another Vliegbeats Flying Friday. Don't forget to smash that Vliegbeats subscribe button, hit the bell icon and join the journey.